No, no, the weather here is fine. Hardly a trace of wrong. I don't care if you're freezing. You're the one who's always going on about global warming. Okay, Abby. Now, I want you to imagine that we are going 40 miles an hour, and we're about to merge onto I-94. Now listen here. No, no, I'm here. I'm here, and I'm listening. Abby, don't close your eyes. We're in a moving vehicle. Oh, right, I was, I was imagining. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. Just imagine with your eyes on the road. I don't care what your mother told you. I'm telling you. And I want you to merge. Abby, what about your turn signal? Turn signal? And your blind spot. Did you check your blind spot? Checked. No, I won't hold on a minute. Wait, hold on a minute. Are We're you? going into a tailspin. I, I can fix it. Recover. I can fix it. Recover. Recover. Abby. Recover. I know costs are tight right now, but the economy is improving. Do you know what state the economy is in? Pop the brakes! Okay, blind okay. spot, Abby! Pull over the shoulder! Oh. Stop the car! <laughs> no, no, I understand. I wouldn't want to risk everything on me either. What have we learned here today, Abby? Well, it's like my father tells me. You got a brain, think. You got hands, work. That's right. Always remain calm in an emergency. Kim, so sorry to interrupt. Um, George, Cook Western Hospital's on line one. This guy, he says he's your brother. He keeps calling. It's an emergency. My brother? Yeah, I thought you were an only child. I am. Uh, which brother, George or Ben? It's George! Kimberly, pick up the goddamn telephone. What is it, George? I can't talk right now. I'm in a moving vehicle. There's something I have to tell you. Whatever it is, I don't care. Dad's dead. So, he's dead. So what? He was a bastard, and now he's a dead bastard. Are you coming to the funeral or not? No. And I'm not sending any flowers, either. We need you there when we meet with the lawyer, Benny. <laughs> The apple doesn't fall far, does it, George? Look, I'm trying to be pleasant here. Can you at least try to return the favor? Why should I? You never stood up for me, not once. Not when he called me a fag or threw me around. I was out of the house by then. But you knew. Well, what could I have done? I don't know. You're my older brother. Half-brother. You haven't pet Mumbo once. What's the matter? Don't like dogs, George? No, I don't. What about that shit-eating mutt you had when you were a kid? Do you want to see the contents of the will or what? <sighs> Is Kim coming? Yes. And we're meeting with the lawyers when exactly? Right after the funeral. Fine. But I'm not carrying the casket. We're not going to carry the casket, are we? No, we're not. <laughs> Why is this so damn heavy? I mean, he weighed no more than a large child, for Christ's ben, sake. you shut up and lift. I mean, it's a casket. It's not a Pomeranian. Well, if Methuselah back there wasn't Dad's only friend, the load would be a lot lighter. Who are you calling Methuselah, you impudent rascal? This is a solemn day! Yes, it is. So will you both please shut up? You shut up, George. Yeah, what are you, king shit or something? Else? Yes, I am. Oh, fine. Then it's all yours. Oh, Eddie! Eddie. Eddie. No! I no! Oh. Stop calling me Benny, Georgie. What am I, a fucking five-year-old? Ms. Green, are you going to open that thing or what? Mr. Frizzell, as executor of the late Mr. Frizzell's will, my firm is legally bound to uphold the main directives contained in the will. So, you're not going to open it? No. Why won't you open it? As I have already explained, Ben. The main directive of the will has instructed our firm to withhold its contents from all legal heirs until all of its other directives have been fulfilled. The fuck does that mean? What's a directive? Must be a legal term. Thanks, Ben. What's it mean? Maybe if you hadn't ditched half of high school with that deadbeat mechanic, you would understand things like this. That was 15 years ago, George. Some people change. Hoodlum. Kiss ass. Okay. <clears throat> It's really just a list, Kim. It's a list of things your father wrote out, which you, well, all of you really, must perform before its contents are to be revealed to you and eventually inherited. You mean our father has barred us from even seeing what's coming to us? Yes. Motherfucker. Even me? Even you, sweetie. What do we have to do? Well, the first order is that each of you must return to his childhood bedroom in your father's house. <laughs> <laughs> and what are those? Oh, these are your directives. Each envelope contains a task which you must accomplish. I, of course, must be present at all times to verify that you have completed your task. Once all of your directives are completed, the inheritance is yours. Why would he do this? I never understood the man. I know exactly why. 
He's bringing us back under his thumb so he can keep on judging us from hell. Oh, come on, guys. Cut the old man some slack. He just had his own way of doing things, that's all. Open it, Ben. What does it say? Dear Benjamin, the way you turned out is perhaps my biggest regret. I tried to make you a man, but you insisted on taking it in the ass just to spite me. If you're ever going to get a piece of my hard-earned fortune, you've got to drop this vendetta against me and screw a real flesh and blood woman for once. Trust me, you'll like it, Dad. Motherfucker! I'm not doing it. It's insulting. It's degrading. It's only $99.95, and that includes the hooker's cab fare. No way. Don't screw us, Ben. We'll get you through this all right. Yes. I have some ideas. Ideas? What the fuck are you guys talking about? I'm gay, guys. I'm a gay guy. Okay, will you listen? Will you just listen? No, I will not listen. Idea number one. No, I'm not listening. First, we need some Viagra. George, you have some of that, yeah? Well. Next, we plaster pictures of naked men on the walls of the bedroom. Really? That's actually a good idea, Wait. Kim. Who do you like, Ben? Fabio? What about Fabio? Fabio's good. Are you guys out of your mind? It doesn't work that way. I'm not an animal. Oh, be a team player, Benny. I am not. Sleeping with a dirty street prostitute. Okay, fine. We'll go a little upscale. How about a tag team? Mia and Giselle. No. Remember, Benjamin, I am here in my official capacity to document that you fulfill your father's directive with accuracy. Okay. What are you so afraid of, big boy? Well, it's, it's been a while. How long's a while? With a woman? Never. <laughs> Mia, grease up Steely Dan. I think we got a butt pirate to walk the plank. Steely oh, Dan. Got it. I'm gonna be Dorothy, and you're gonna be my little bitch Toto. Uh, oh no, you don't, Mia. It's my turn to take the lead. I wanna be black uh, and blue before the night is through. <laughs> <laughs> Can we play nice? What about missionary? It's a classic. Shut up. <laughs> Bark like the bitch you are. <laughs> it was for a good cause, Benny. <laughs> I'm sure you made the old man proud. When I get my money, I'm going to demolish this house. Well? Dear Kimberly, Given that you don't even have a penis, I shouldn't give you a damn nickel because you'll probably blow it. But I'm getting soft in my old age, so I'll make you a deal. There's an ounce of cannabis stashed in your grandma Ellie's urn. I want you to sell it for $800, prove that you can handle yourself like a man, and make a profit for me, and the fortune is yours. Dad, that evil bastard. Weed in grandma's urn. This is a joke, it has to be. Where would Dad possibly have gotten marijuana? I have no idea. Where is Grandma's urn? Holy shit. Where's Grandma? 
All right, children. We have one ounce of marijuana here. I've done a little research, and nowadays that's worth about $400. I'm going to jail. What I don't understand is how she is supposed to turn that into $800. You know, I once got ripped off by buying a bag of basil in high school. That's good, Benny. <laughs> we could cut it with something. That is a terrible idea. I won't even make it to jail. I'll be beaten to death by street thugs for cramping their style. Nobody's getting a cramp, Kim. Just mix it all together and find some young dummy to burn. Who are you calling? Stephen. Your son, Stephen. Shh. Stephen! It's Dad. I know you do pot. I need a buyer. I can't do this. Oh. I'm a teacher. I'm breaking the teacher's code. What code? You teach driver's ed. I screwed two nymphos with pony whips and Fabio on the fucking wall. You're doing it. Fine. Fine. Fine! What? If I turn some honor student into a smackhead, I'm gonna drive myself into a wall. Kimberly, take a deep breath. It is pot! It's not like we're pushing heroin, and you're going to retire a very rich woman. All right. All right. Hey. Hey! Come on! Remember, Kimberly, you must make a clean handoff in return with 800. Hey, kid. Hey, I think I have what you want. Excuse me? Listen, how bad do you want it, kid? Um, not very bad. Do you want to do it here, or do you want to go around back? Uh, I have a girlfriend. Thank you. Hey. Hey. So, are you picking somebody up? No, I'm dropping off. Oh. Are you getting picked up? Nope. I'm picking up. Oh. How much? 800. Are you kidding me? Listen, Hagasaurus, I'll give you 600. Look, you little weasel, it's 800. 700 and I'll give you a ride home. Where in your basket? 800. 750 and I will take out the money I have and slap you with it. 800 and I won't call the cops. Do you know what they do to pretty little boys like you in prison? I'm gonna be somebody's B I T C baby. Fine. Fine. Show me the dough and I'll show you the dope. The dope? Lady, you're in the wrong decade. Call your mother. Why don't you use that money and buy yourself a new life? Uh, why don't you, why don't you, you, duh. Hello? Good evening, George. Before you embark upon your directive, I wish to inform you of my intended absence. There is, after all, a limit to what the firm can allow itself to be implicated in. I understand. Good. I shall, however, require comprehensive photographic documentation providing evidence that you have indeed successfully accomplished your directive. Ta-ta, George. For this one, you're on your own. Judge, you're only half a disappointment in that at least you try not to disappoint me. There's no getting around the fact that you're a big mouth fuck up. You always blow it. Probars. Can we talk about this before we Masks. decide? Hey, hold on a second, George. <laughs> bacon bits. Yeah, I, I got the fucking bacon bits. Let's roll. George! George, wait a second. 
The owner of Tricor, my biggest competitor, he was a real prick. Break into his home and poison his dog like he poisoned my business. George, George, can we talk about our options? It's a dog, Benny. You did your part, I have to do mine. Anything for pop, huh, George? My mother would disapprove of this. Your mother was a gold-digging bimbo. You were an afterthought, both of you. Our mother then was she, an she, she broke. We're gonna get us caught. We're gonna go to jail. I'm calm. Here, doggy. Nice doggy. Where's my million dollar bell? Came to play with you. I got liver. I got bacon. I got cyanide. Doggy. Dog. Oh my God. What, what, what? Is that an Ansel Adams? Are you kidding me? What? You don't like black and white aerial landscape photography? Come on. He looks just like Spotty. I had a dog once. We know. Dad took him away. Let's go, George. Congratulations. <laughs> you have completed phase one of your directives. Our firm is now legally bound to release phase two. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Phase two. I took the liberty of sneaking a peek. This one's a real doozy. I, 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 I don't understand. I don't fucking believe this. How many goddamn phases are there? Mr. Frizzell. As executor of the late Mr. Frizzell's will, our firm is I'm legally gonna bound. Kill you. Okay. I'm going to kill you! Stay away from my person! I won't stop it! Give me that! Give me that! Give it to me! You can't! Look at that! Oh my god! You're behaving like a baby! Will you let go of my foot? What's the matter with you? I'm gonna bite her knees! Andrea, thank you. When you get a moment, would you ask someone to call security? Fuck you, lady! You son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, I think you're straight now. I think I think you're officially straight now. I screw myself straight. Yeah. I'd be a good I'd be a good straight guy. Like, yeah. Just like. would be great. I'm a good straight guy. <laughs> He's a dog killer. He is a dog killer. You kill dogs, George. You're like dog to Kevorkian. 
Yeah, duck. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just go play amongst yourself? <laughs> no, oh, play. play That's a good idea. Play 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 All right, come on. Yes, yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I am not the most oh, little. Get him. Oh, come on. That's What's so the matter fun. with you? No, I don't get want his to. Leg. Get me out of here. What the? No. Ah. <laughs> you know, Ben, I just realized something. I have no idea what it is that you do for a living. I'm a plumber. <laughs> What's so funny? No, seriously, I'm a I'm a plumber. I'm a really good plumber, guys. T joints, elbows. Yep. Traps, catch faces. I do it all. If you ever have, what is so funny? If you ever have a problem, call me and I'll unclog your. I'm a good plumber. Union or scab? No, you look. Here's my card. Call me if you need a. 